Hello, this is PG Tech Tips, and today I'll be showing you how to root your Nexus player. Before we even touch the Nexus player, go ahead and navigate to the link below. It'll direct you to a Google Drive. Then, right click, not right click, left click, to here, download the file, it should download, save to downloads, After it is downloaded, go ahead and open up your file browser. Navigate to the where you saved the file, which in my case is downloads, and find your saved file. And do extract here and since I've already done that I don't need to do it again then run the adb.exe program then do fastboot and then shift right click open command window here After all of that's done, you can go ahead and navigate to your settings on your Nexus player. And then go to About, then ver or Build, tap it eight times I believe, and I'm already a developer so I don't need that. And then exit out of it, and then re-enter it. And now your developer options should be available. Click it. Enter debugging, USD debugging on, go ahead and exit out of all of that, go home, and now connect your Nexus player to your computer via micro USB cable. Your Nexus player will ask you to authorize the USB device for debugging. Go ahead and click the check mark, yes. Now that we have done all of that, we can work on the software. Type in ADB devices. And it should say a serial number and say device. If it doesn't, you've done something wrong and go back and retrace the steps. Next, type ADB reboot boot loader and it will reboot your device into your boot loader After that is done, type in fast boot OEM unlock. And since I already have mine unlocked, it gives me that error. If yours hasn't been unlocked, it'll say ask you one more time and then you type yes. Then after that is done, type in fast boot OEM unlock. And since I already have mine unlocked, it gives me that error. If yours hasn't been unlocked, it'll say ask you one more time and then you type yes. Then type in fast boot flash recovery space it is very important you get that space in go back to your file browser pick whichever recovery you would prefer to use 
I'm going to use twerp recovery. Insert it and press enter. And it will flash recovery. Now that mine is completely flashed, you can press you can flash your custom ROM if you want or you can manually flash it by going to your Nexus player and entering recovery. Now on your Nexus player you use this bottom button to navigate through your bootloader. Press it once to navigate and then press it once long to initiate. Press and hold, release, and it opens up my recovery and it'll now reboot into your recovery that you just flashed. And since I did twerp recovery, I can now connect an OTG cable and a mouse to navigate through the recovery. And if you don't want this to be a permanent fixture, you can do read only. If you want it to be a permanent fixture, you can swipe and it allow all the modifications. I'm for showing purposes only doing read. And now you can install any flash that you have on your device. or zip and you can back up which I would recommend backing up you can wipe restore do all of that and I'm going to reboot to bootloader you can also install super user so you get super user access permanently and you can install any custom ROMs you have via um, twerp recovery you can connect your OTG cable with any files or zips you would like to install on a flash drive connect it and then open up your recovery and flash them or just navigate to your ES file explorer which you can download through the Play Store and install any apps or anything you need from there any third-party apps that aren't normally on the Nexus player you now have a rooted Nexus player thank you for joining us and enjoy